Hey everyone, this is Andrew. Welcome to another episode of Shuan Dang Draws. I know last time I didn't really do a commentary on the art, but I thought I'd just do a little more casual talk through uh, my art process and thinking for this piece. Uh, it's, it's more of a character design piece that's set in the uh, game world that I'm working out. I'm looking for a way to bring together a bunch of loose story threads and ideas that I've had in the past and put them all together in, in a world and a little multiverse. Um, so the, the central story is going to be set in the Library of Linnea and uh, this character that I uh, just uh, developed, her name's Sakela, and she's going to be representing one of the more industrial nations in the world. So this character's design is kind of an evolution on some of my previous work, uh, developing characters in this world. Um, if you looked at through my portfolio, there's a character named Kate and she's sort of uh, a an officer in the army. Um, so there's a, a, a little bit of a military bent to this industrialized nation. Um, so I'm kind of bouncing off of that idea, but also bringing a little bit more of modernization into the characters here. Uh, it's been a couple of years since I've drawn characters within that design. So revisiting it, I'm sort of taking a look at what I've done in the past and then also trying to push my craft forward a little bit. So process wise I think I really found a, a little groove here working with the um, Clip Studio Paints G Pen. I was able to sort of push the, the ink first uh, style, get all the blacks down for the character and the lines uh, tightened up before moving on to the coloring stage. Um, the coloring itself, I feel like, you know, is just a very basic palette design for the character with a little bit of shading for depth. And I think that gets me to a point where I can work off of this as a character reference sheet and generate some visual novel uh, ready assets. That's going to have to be a, a full set of character portraits, some poses, uh, trying to get a variety of a range of emotions. And then the final step would be to demo it all out and put it into a short scene in a video game engine. So that's it for today. This video is a bit on the shorter end compared to my others uh, because this art process was a lot faster than usual. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you again next time.